Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire, excuse me, in the UK. If you joined me on Monday, you'll have seen me create this fun little ladybird card using this stamp set called Hello Ladybug, as you can see here. And I apologise that I wasn't live yesterday evening. I should have been live at 7pm. Um, but I was out and about in the afternoon. Good evening, Kerry. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Um, and yes, we were somewhat later back than we intended. Um, and I knew it was going to be just too tight to get back for Facebook Live. So I do apologise. And because I'd been out most of the day, I hadn't eaten or anything. So when I got back in, it was time to eat. So I do apologise for the late notice of cancellation. But we're here, back here today on Wednesday. And for us here, it's the 19th of January. And I'm going to carry on with this stamp set. And this time I'm going to use this element. So the body and the wings. And also these little flowers. Um, so in the stamp set you also have this larger daisy flower. Which matches the small daisy punch. And this lovely leaf. And then some middles and dots that you can add into there. Plus, obviously, the sentiments that you can see. So I'm going to be using these elements. I'm going to stamp these first um, just to try them out. And then we do have a matching punch, which punches out that ladybird body and the wings. So I'm going to show you some top tips on how you can stamp I'm hoping that I'll be able to stamp all of those in one go. We'll see. And I'll explain why in a minute. Okay, so that's the card that we made on Monday. And just really good fun. The little hello comes from the sentiment in here. Okay, nice little hello. And I like that it's a good day, but I just added that on the inside of the card. So I'm going to stick with the red and black theme because obviously it suits that really nicely. And I just want to stamp out these new stamps. So I need the spots and the ladybird body and the wings and the flowers. So I'm going to use the set of three flowers and I can see those being really useful um, in lots of different ways, those flowers as well. So just mount these up on here. Blocks are a little bit big, but all my blocks are stoved ready for my coffee and card. So this is my um, spare piece that I've been doing my stamping on to. So I'm just going to carry on using that. And then I will keep this piece in the stamp set itself. Okay, no worries, Kerry. Hopefully we'll see you back again. Okay, so let's start with the flowers. And I'm sticking to Poppy Parade, one of my favourite reds. It always used to be real red. Um, but Poppy just has that extra brightness about it. And these are nice little flowers that make great little clusters, perfect for a background as well. And I can see I've got this tiny little dot of something on there, so let's just wipe this down. And this is why it's important to try out your stamps um, as soon as you can when you get them. Um, also means that you can check for any imperfections, that's much better. 
so I, I'm not sure that you can actually see that detail but on this little flower there were little um, area patches and now it's stamped perfectly now I've restamped it hi Jeanette and hi Catherine so apologies ladies for my um, cancellation last night there was nothing absolutely nothing critical at all um, I was on a little bit of a I won't say a wild goose chase okay but um, it involved my daughter's boyfriend he's gone out of the house now so I can talk about him bless him he's so sweet and uh, he wanted to, we had to go and pick something up and um, so we checked out the address and he gave me the address and we set off and I knew it was going to be about two two and a half hours and as I was driving along I was looking at my um, sat nav so he put the postcode in sort of part the way along and uh, suddenly the sat nav numbers were increasing and not decreasing and the time was going up and up and up only to realize that the name of the town that he'd given me there are two of those in the UK and uh, he told me this one was in Kent and in fact it was near Bristol so yes so there's two Winterbournes one in Bristol and one near Faversham in Kent so we'd, we'd set off towards Faversham and then once we put the sat nav in of course after we'd gone past the junction on the motorway we were then headed away from it so what should have been um, a sort of four hour all round trip turned out to be about six hours so hey ho never mind it was good. It was a, a fun road trip, although I was very tired of doing that amount of driving. I have to say, I haven't driven that amount in one day for a long time. But um, as I say, there was nothing nothing critical. That was the main thing. And I managed at least to post um, on Facebook when I stopped for uh, fuel um, that obviously we weren't, we weren't going to be live. OK, so I'm happy with the flowers, as you can see. I really like those, really like those. I can see me using those for lots of things. Um, and then let's do the ladybird itself. And I am going to stamp her. Just gonna stamp her in red first because the black ink, memento ink is quite harsh um, for pho photopolymer stamps. So I just want to start it off with this so we've got the body and we've got the wings now um, this body can be used for other things which is what I'm going to show you tomorrow just going to stamp that like that and then we've got the dots for the wings and I'm just going to stamp this in red so I know it's not going to show up but I'm just using it to condition the stamps. There we go. Okay, perfect. Fairly easy to get in place because it's photopolymer, obviously. Okay, so what I want to show you is um, how we can stamp the body and the wings at the same time so that we can punch them out together because obviously this has got both on the same punch and if you stamped as you would typically a line of bodies obviously you're going to um, waste this little bit here either you've got to leave spacing in between them or potentially you could cut into the bodies that you've stamped so what we're going to do is create a template so we're going to stamp, punch even, a template here that has got the body and the wing and it's like that. Okay. And so what we're going to do, if it will work, and then the only reason I'm saying will it work is because this is really narrow here is we pop the body into that 
gap on the stencil and do the same with the wings and Stampin' Up true to form have made them fit so just want to make sure that's fairly snug in there one and two so now what we can do is put our block onto there together and lift them up and now we should be able to ink and stamp those and then punch them out now I'm thinking I've got these the wrong way around because I want to see it this way to punch it does that make sense I want it to be when I stamp I want it to be in that format so that I can see to punch okay so yes it will work okay I can also see I've got hair stuck under here and the cats joined us Right, I just need to I do need to reset this because this hair will drive me mad. Sorry everybody. Okay, now if you didn't want to do this, you could just stamp a line of bodies and then just be careful as you come in and start from the left hand side and then do the wings, but you might as well do them together unless you only want the bodies for something and no doubt there's something we can do with those wings to make it into a flower thinking if you cut a whole bunch of those you could lay it round to make a flower so that might be on the cards as well right so I can't remember which way around to put this now Dear, my mind has gone completely blank. So I want to stamp it that way. There we go. But I'm sure I did it the other way around. Because this will be reversed. I've got a bit of a tail here. Oh dear. Hey ho. It's only Wednesday. Right, let's try that. And obviously these are both going to be stamped in black. If you wanted different colours, um you could you know cover that over and ink it up but to be honest it would then be quicker to stamp them separately in my opinion right let's have a go on here and see if i've got this the right way around i'm gonna stamp it like that and then put it in yeah no Definitely the wrong way around, isn't it? I'm thinking this too. If I stamp it like that, that's definitely the wrong way around, and it needs to be face up. Oh my goodness. Sorry, everybody. You're thinking she's lost the plot, aren't you? Hi, Tracy. Oh, bless you, Kerry. Right. Oh dear. 
right. Patience is a virtue. I suppose I could have just stamped it in the scene, but um, let's try this. So I'm just sort of slotting that into the template, like so. Then I'm going to put my block on top. Not sure if that didn't move. Okay, let's try it on this scrap. I'm just going to try it in the red to start with. Okay. Hoorah. Okay, so now when you punch it out, you've got both the wings and the body stamped and punched in one. Okay, so now I've ascertained that's the right way round. Um, what I will do is keep this template with my stamp set so I don't have this whole palaver next time round. And then put this on here. Um, so that's the way I want it to be to match the punch. So insert stamps this side. Hello, ladybug. Okay, so that I know when I come back to this, probably in a couple of days time, when I've completely forgotten, I know that I want to pop the stamps in there like that. Okay, when they're inked up, and then that will match the punch. Okay, right. So let's stamp, stamp some out, and then punch them. <laughs> Thank you, I'm glad you knew I'd get there. <laughs> Eventually. Right, let's clean this off, stamp this in black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp in black, add the red detail before I punch everything out. Okay, because that makes life a lot easier than trying to line up onto a smaller piece. I know that, you know, I know it's the same, but psychologically it's a lot easier. So I'm going to try this ink here. And let's make sure that's nice and dry. Now this, as you can see, takes a reasonable amount of stamping. And I really do need to re-ink this properly. Let's just try this other one. Maybe that combination works nicely. Okay. And I know that when I put it in the punch, I want it to be this way at the bottom so I can insert the punch at the bottom. So I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp a couple, even though I think I'm only going to use one for um, this purpose. And then I've got them at the ready. So I am using both of these ink pads. Just to make sure they're nicely inked. Obviously if you've got a new ink pad, um, then you don't need to worry quite as much. So I'm going to do this one. and it's got hair on it okay and let's do the red spots which are here underneath the cat Okay, 
Okay, so I hope everybody is well. This is uh, Wednesday morning already. And I'm just going to move this round so I can see. And that one's nice and easy to line up, especially where you've got... Um, have I done that the right way around? I haven't, have I? <laughs> it should be red with black spots. Shouldn't it? Yes. See, nobody told me. I was doing it all wrong. Right, okay. Let's see if we can recover this. Oh, how funny. Okay, so I'm just inking up the wings with the red side. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. And then we'll have black spots. So, if you want to do it correctly, so all you want to do, because there is a gap in here, is just use one side of the ink pad and then the other. Okay. That is quite funny, isn't it? Sorry if that's slightly off your view, isn't it? I keep forgetting to bring my camera back down towards me. Okay. There we go. Hey-ho. So, finally the right way around. Okay, so now we can just pop this in and punch them out together. Just taking a bit of time to get that right. And what I'm going to do is punch this set of wings first. And then that set there. Just taking time to get it roughly in line. Okay, so I've got lots of bodies and some wings. There we go. Yeah, that definitely looks strange, doesn't it? Hey-ho. You could also, if you wanted to, just stamp out, um, just punch out this shape in black card i reckon that would also work let me just grab a scrap of black because that would be an alternative I and mean, i like the stamp detail but especially if you wanted to do it with children just punching out a black piece um, might be better so you can see the difference between my not very well inked piece of um, so this is more grey now than black but you can see hopefully the difference between the two Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so funny, isn't it? And I, it's funny enough, I thought about that. When I was stamping it earlier, I thought, um, when I was thinking about it earlier, I was thinking, oh, that's good. They'll be black. No, they'll be red. No, they'll be black. <laughs> okay. So, we have a ladybird. All sorts of foreign ladybirds. And, and in fact, these can also be quite orange. So I think you could do this in um, pumpkin pie or mango melody. 
or you could do a little bit of um, shading with both of those to get a um, you know you can do the rock and roll technique where you've got a bit of orange going on to red I think there's lots of things you could do with that so my plan is to stamp the flowers going across here and then have my ladybird on one side so here are the flowers and I'm going to stick to poppy but I'm going to experiment I wonder what other colors because I thought I don't want pink um, but I guess ladybirds land on anything don't they but I'm going to start with poppy going across the paper and I think as I said this set of stamps are going to come in very useful because you've got three together it makes it quite easy that's going I'm just going to turn these round a little bit have this one coming down and then up taking that off now I have got a foam mat underneath because they are photopolymer stamps so it just gives them that extra bit of cushioning when you're stamping like so and I've got a piece for the inside that's going to be my front so I'm going to add a sentiment and my ladybird and then I think for my inside I'm going to have in the corner and I'll see I'll do one on the envelope as well just need to do that there we go so that's going to be my inside like that So let me see what sentiment we're going to pop on today. There are different types of ladybirds, thank goodness. Punch out the red and just stamp the dots out. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, clever Tracy. So that would be another thing to do, would be to, should we try that? I think we have to give it a go now. Um, have I got a spare piece of red? I'm sure I have. Let me just get to my scraps of red. I know this is oh okay <laughs> okay so let's try Tracy's idea so punch out the red and stamp black yeah I'm liking that too clever girl Clever girl. Yes. Thank you, Tracy. So you get that. She's rather cute too, isn't it? So you can either have it all punched or all stamped and punched or combination 
and also you could I wouldn't be fussy cutting the antenna myself um, but you certainly could fussy cut the body element of that or stamp the body and fussy cut the wings if you wanted to if you didn't have the punch so yeah lots of variations of that right so sentiment that's what's going for um, let's put this one here may your greatest wish come true pop that on okay and I'm just going to use my piece here as well so this is the piece I'm going to keep in with my stamp set now if you've got spares of these like I have now then I put them in a little um, envelope or um, recycled plastic bag and pop them in with the stamp set so that if I needed a card in a hurry I may already have some elements that I could use okay right so it's going to stamp that. I'm going to stamp that in red to start with Oh, use the stamp mat without the apparatus, without the stamp apparatus. Yes, it really does make a difference, doesn't it? So let's type this the right way around. And, and in fact, you can use stamp mats even with your normal red rubber um, stamps. Just don't press too hard on them. Otherwise, it, there's too much give. But um, it's it's really useful if you have any dexterity issues because that cushioning um, you know takes up some of the pressure but you don't want to press too hard that is the only thing otherwise you can sort of sink in and um, ruin your card so let's pop this sentiment on in hopefully some black Got this tail still here look <laughs> it is real I promise so I'm just going to add that in here may your greatest wish come true that's really nice and crisp so I've got um, yeah I, I do quite like the straight um, punched ones and I think for me personally the reason is my black is not stamping really black because it does need re-inking quite seriously um, if that was a really crisp black I think I'd feel um, that that was better and also you do get the white edge to it so it depends on whether you like that I think if it's on white um, you can get away with it I think if it was on a darker card then obviously you have the white around it, which some people like because it defines the image and some people don't. So, let's, I could do a half and half, and I think that works quite nicely, like that. Maybe I'll just take this one as a stamped one and then I'll do one as a punched one. So I'm gonna pop this on flat and put the whole thing on dimensionals like so so yeah thank you for that Tracy it's funny how your mind goes um, you know just in one direction isn't it so I'm making sure that I'm not adding glue to the tips of these I'm actually not adding glue to anything It's the tiniest amount of glue ever. Let me grab a glue from my copying card pack. There we go. But I think you could put these on with dimensionals as well if you wanted to. Maybe, maybe more so if you were using 
this version here, I think. So that just fits on there, really. You don't need to think of any positioning, I don't think. There we go. And then this is going to go on with some dimensionals. And then I'm just going to layer that onto some card. So I might do something similar to this version. Have some poppy parade underneath. And then um, black. Or oh, I've got some grey here. I've got, oh, I've got my spare bit of black there I can use. Um, right, dimensionals are right in front of me because I got them out in preparation. So here in the UK we call them ladybirds and I know in America they call them ladybugs which actually makes more sense. Um, but they do fly so maybe that's why we've got the ladybird element here. Um, and I'm thinking just going to pop her in that little gap there. Something that would be worth investigating would be um, to use either our fine tip glue over here to make her wings shiny. Um, and we also have some um, sparkly, I'll just see if I've got some here, I think I can see some, there we go, shimmery crystal effects, which is the same sort of thing. So I might have a go on one of my spare wings and see if that, that works. I'm going to do it on this one. Um, and just add some crystal effects. You do have to let it dry um, and it has, it's like a glue so you can actually use it as a glue but it has a little bit of mica in it so it's shimmery and it dries glossy. So I'm going to stamp that with the black and then apply some of that and then I'll photograph it when it's dry and you can see see what you think. Okay, so let's mount this up. So I've got red. I've left enough of a gap to add a border round just to highlight that. Let me bring that up to the screen so you can see that a bit better. So this is the stamped version. And then this is the punched version. The cat is joining in. And let's just grab some more of this black and white, which is on the reverse of this other pretty pattern paper that I used yesterday. And in fact, I might use the black dots underneath it. I've got plenty of this paper and then put that layer on there. I need to extract, <laughs> extract the cat as you can hear. Not very happy. And then we're done. So I'm just going to cut this piece to size. Um, I'm just going to cut it this way, 14.35, because so I can get four pieces out of that. And what I might do, and this is 10 centimetres, is I wonder if that would work for a body or if it's too dotty. some out in the middle and see it may or may not work oh quite like the um those wings are rather nice it's quite cute 
with the dots isn't it so I'm just going to because I'm only going to use this border punch those shapes out I'm just going to leave it at that so and you could double up the wings as well couldn't you so you could have I know they're red but you could have two lots like so so you could just put a little glue between them and have two sets because in fact they do have wings underneath don't they so you could cut that and that to make it look like they're flying you know they're opened up that's the word <laughs> dear right let's get this one sorted so lots of things that you can do with this um, set and the punch to um, get more out of it as I say I reckon you could use these for a flower I know these are cut a different way round but I reckon you could build up some layers of that so that might, that'll be another one to try and we're going to make a bumblebee tomorrow out of them so plenty of things that you can do with this and it's a, a sweet little set as I say great for children with the punch no doubt about that so if you are um, doing borders like that do make use of the bit that's going to be hidden or you know cut a segment out of that if you prefer and then this is going to go on to there on top and I might add a little bit of bling on those flowers we also have um, matte black dots and you could use the dots on the spots on the ladybird or on the flowers or just as decoration as well just going to put this flat because it's just thin basic white card so thank you to everybody butterfly wings oh yes 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 butterfly wings like so i know the patterns go the wrong way let's do it this way thank you catherine maybe we need to make a list of things that you can make with these like that butterflies clever lot clever lot you are so um yes thank you to everybody who signed up for my class for this month so everything well most everything arrived yesterday um so i can get everything packed and ready so the first one excuse me is the class on tuesday that's tuesday afternoon evenly evenly followed by the online class the following saturday the 29th Okay, so that's my outside. Let's pop this one on the inside. And we're done for today. This would make a fun set of little cards to give to somebody. And I also think that the, as I think I said on Monday, the either of the ladybirds would work really nicely on a small three by three card for little thank you cards or invitations especially for a children's party or something there we go so may your greatest wish come true so that's the stamped version of the ladybird and i quite like this actually with the dotty black is quite cute like so and you could let me just bring that up a little bit if you're not keen on stamping what you could do with the punch is punch a black um, a black layer 
and a red layer and then take a hole punch and punch some holes in and layer the two together so you've got the red with the holes on top of a solid piece of black um, but that would only work if you've got suit suitable hole punches or you could I guess you could put um, dots on or if you had any black different coloured stickers I don't know any of that would work right let's have a, add a little embellishment to this and I'm thinking just these we do have some new iridescent um, oh, can't even think of the word that's what comes from being tired isn't it um, iridescent gems available and I've actually added those into the um, card class this month because they're so sweet I didn't list them but I have added them in um, let's put one up here without the hair there we go so just a little bit of bling on there so there we go so lots to think about lots we can do so thank you for the ideas I might try and create a little um, sheet collage with um, some of the different ideas so Catherine's butterfly obviously we'll have the bee um, the fact you can punch these um, yeah all sorts of different things so I might do a sheet with those ideas in if somebody hasn't already done it so there we go and that was my um, template for stamping them both together um, so the secret with that is to turn your punch over because that's how you're going to stamp and that's the way that you want your template to be so when you put your stamps down you want your stamps down onto that okay that makes sense which is completely the opposite <laughs> to the way if you look at the punch that way round. so but at the end of the day you can just turn it around it's not the end of the world okay so thank you so much it's um 10 48 thank you for joining me everybody thanks you for your ideas um tracy and jeanette and catherine those are really useful um pointers and uh, it's always good to share these ideas around so thank you so much i hope you enjoy the rest of your day i hope that um carrie is able to join us later and watch on replay so thank you so much for joining me i shall be back tomorrow thursday at 7 p.m and i look forward to some more crafting with you then and this um card and the ladybirds will feature in our coffee and card sessions on friday in brackley and on monday in toaster so if you're local and want to join us for those um just give me a message it's friday afternoon three till four at hummingbirds bistro and Monday afternoon, half past two to half past three in Toaster at Watling Street Village, which is right in the centre. Thank you so much. Um, do take care, everybody. Enjoy your afternoons, days, evenings, whenever you're joining us. And I look forward to crafting with you soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.